Hey guys, this is Adele and Sammy with Motivated by Kindness. We're out here bringing you inspiration every week to help you change yourself for the better. Hey guys, it is week nine of the podcast. It's yeah. Adela. I'm not doing this. Am I saying my name again? We don't know. You just said your name. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, welcome back. Thanks again for listening to our last week's cast. It was about introvert and extrovert. And I tried living life as an introvert for an hour, and it was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do extrovert, so I get it. So we want to thank you guys for continuing our love, support. And, um, you know, we truly appreciate you guys. We're We're still pushing. We're still you know, trying to um, make this all happen, motivated by kindness. It will happen. It is going to happen, you know, but we're just really excited that you guys get to follow our journey. Mm -hmm. Um, With that being said, this week's podcast, we wanted to talk about... (laughs) She's been repeating it, like, over and over. Don't mind us. Patience. Mm -hmm. Mindfulness and personal growth. Yes. And how those three kind of go together. They do go together. Because I have so much patience. No, you don't. Yeah. Oh, psh, did you have to put me on the spot? Yes. <laughs> I have lots of patience. No, she's training herself into patience. I'm being mindful. Mm-hmm. So basically, when you're not a patient person like myself, you want something, you go for it. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to be how I am, where you have no, no patience. But having patience, I've learned over the past few months. Few weeks. Months. Months. Okay. Few weeks, months. Um, that once you're mindful of how you how you how you can control your thoughts and your mm-hmm. decisions, and it it really does help to make you better make better decisions, and it's been great. I can't believe I'm admitting that I. Patience is a wonderful thing. It's fantastic. It helps you from making more mistakes than you need to. That is true, because I've I've made a lot less mistakes over the past... When was my last mistake? I don't even remember. See? Growth. I know. I know. That's your personal growth right there, dear. Yeah, I'm growing up. I'm so proud. (laughs) As I'm wearing a unicorn onesie. (laughs) Don't mind me. Today is Adele's birthday, so we're Mm -hmm. celebrating. In a unicorn onesie, living my best life at 28 years old. And I'm glad I said my age because we're going to one day listen to all these again. And I could be like, wow, remember when you were 28? It was your 28th birthday and we're in your apartment in Concord. And we were talking about patience. Yeah. And now look at you having all the patience in the world. And here we are with our business. And we just, we, we really do think about motivated by kindness every single day. Mm-hmm. Every single day when we see things, we do this. It's it's just super exciting. And we, we really are working towards making this amazing dream come true. Yeah. And I can't wait. Everything we do in our lives daily, it's like, oh, we're going to do this at the cafe and this. And then we always sh- spread the word and... You know, we always talk about it, and mm-hmm. it's super exciting. And we're just having more people on that fun, excited train with us, and it's really exciting. It is. But even everything we're doing to open the business, it needs patience. Mm-hmm. It does. If we weren't patient, we, we would have given up already. And we haven't. It's been nine weeks. It's been more than that. Well, it has been, but nine weeks of the podcast stuff Mm -hmm. that we decided that we were going to record our journey. I mean, obviously, when things are really up and going, we're going to actually video record again and kind of record behind the scenes stuff. I would like to. You can be on camera all you want. Yep. I will be behind the camera. Extrovert. Yeah. I won't be on camera. Um, If you want to see my face, you got to find me in person. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be there in the cafe at 8 in the morning in my unicorn onesie. You won't be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll be there at 9 in the morning in my <laughs> unicorn onesie. That's getting closer. Well, okay, 9.45. Um, that's it. I'll try to be there <laughs> earlier. But, but it's, it's exciting. And then, like, when we listen to dance, when we listen to music, who's freaking busting out a move in the kitchen making dance routines? 
Me. You're always doing that. Yeah, it's great. Even in the car. It's kind of dangerous, but hey, <laughs> I'm alive. But it's just exciting. And then patience is huge for me. It's 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 honestly, I learned a lot at 27 mm-hmm. with patience and make decision making and growth. And I learned so much about myself and who I truly am that I'm coming into 28 years old with all that stuff. And it's great. Yeah. I mean, watching over the last six months, I've I've noticed your mindfulness changing and everything you think about and your patience and your, I don't know, your personal growth, just everything. Mm-hmm. It's your, like the I'm, way I'm... your thoughts are, the way you focus on things, mm-hmm. uh, what you focus on, what you don't focus on, how you react to things, it's all changing. It is. It's like I'm having, uh, I'm growing up. I'm growing up. Mm-hmm. And I'm just that much closer to my goals. Obviously, mm-hmm. I haven't fully really discussed that part of my goals, but there's a huge thing, a huge step that I'm taking to better my lives. My lives. I have so many. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot. I have a lot of personalities, so I say lives, you know, because all 12 of us. She's just um, a goof. Yeah. So just this, you know, it, it, this decision I'm making, obviously you guys are following our journey and eventually when the time is right, we will share what's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, but just even taking a, a huge step like that does take patience. You mm-hmm. have to be mindful of, is this the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? You got to really think about it, analyze it, and just kind of going with the flow type of thing. Mm-hmm. See, that's the thing is like, everybody thinks personal growth is so hard. It really isn't. It just takes you taking the time to be mindful of every decision you make everything you do Mm -hmm. and then making the conscious effort and the conscious choice to do the thing that's going to better you in the long run and that's like personally i'm learning in a current situation that patience is only going to be worth it in the end Mm -hmm. with a certain situation i have patience for it but I'm just excited for it, and I just want it to happen. Mm-hmm. Like chocolate. But that's a different story. There's chocolate in your fridge. Oh, my goodness, chocolate. See, this is great. Life is so great. And there's chocolate cupcakes on the counter. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. Excuse <laughs> me while I stuff my face. Yeah, oh. she'll do that after. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, so, you know, anything, too, that I want to share is is any step you take in any of those things, personal growth, Mm -hmm. having patience and being mindful is is a huge deal never down yourself because each day is just a step closer to where you want to be yeah you just take one everything is one step at a time Mm -hmm. it's a good quote i hear it a lot i try um i'm gonna get a cup that says that one step at a time Mm -hmm. i prefer to say one moment at a time but I just wanna <laughs> This is happy Adela right now. Oh, cause I'm a, who cannot be happy in a onesie, a unicorn onesie. I don't know, people don't like unicorns. Well, I'm a unicorn. I know. But I mean for me personally, I I write out lists. My entire life is lists. You know that. Mm-hmm. You've seen me write out lists. Mm-hmm. Um, You're very organized. I have to be. I'm if, scatterbrained. If I wasn't organized, I wouldn't be able to do half the stuff I do. And I wouldn't be able to have the patience I have. I wouldn't be mindful of everything. Like, it's good to be like that. I honestly, like, I'm mindful of everything within myself. And then I'm mindful of everybody else around me and everything that's happening around me. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't that way. Always. Like, that was my personal growth, my development. I literally sat down and I wrote out a list of, I based it off of um, top leaders. And so I I looked at leaders and I said, okay, what are the top 20 personality traits, characteristics? What are the things that they do to make them who they are? And what do I want to have? And I sat down and I wrote a list and I worked on them one by one. Because it takes 21 days to make a habit. And once you have it a habit, it, you can just continue on to the next. I've been patient for more than 21 days. So see, it's a habit now. And you're still working on yeah, it. Yeah, shh. 
It's great. Do you know Einstein was scatterbrained? Yeah. And I'm, I'm scatterbrained. You know Einstein was also organized? That doesn't make sense. Yes, it is. So I'm organized in a way, but I'm assholes. I'm assholes. <laughs> also? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Well, you can also. be scatterbrained in here and organized out here. No, my brain's definitely scatterbrained. Yeah, you can be scatterbrained in your head. That I'm organized outside. But be organized outside. outside of your head. But I feel like I'm not even organized. Well, we're, you're still learning. That's your post personal growth right now. I got a lot to work on, guys. <laughs> Everybody has a lot to work on. That's the thing. That's like, what, hey, I came far. I mean, I lost the 40 pounds. That was one of my biggest goals, mm-hmm. getting into shape. And I really do. I feel... I can honestly say at 28, I am the happiest and healthy I've, healthiest I've ever been. That's good. And I'm learning to embrace who I am. Unfortunately, it took me till 27 and, 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 and that growth and stuff to happen for me to really, truly learn who I am. Because mm-hmm. you know how people say you can't love or care for other people if you don't truly know who you are? Mm-hmm. And it's the, that is literally the truest quote because I'm going through that myself. Okay. I found who I am. And what I can give out mm-hmm. and what I deserve back the same way. Exactly. And it's once I realized that, it was like, I'm going to wait. It's like the light bulb just magically clicked on. Like Einstein. Wait. Who's the guy? Edison created the light bulb, right? Who created the light bulb? Thomas um, Edison? No, it was Thomas Edison's assistant. I don't know his name, but Thomas he Edison. just took credit for it. But anyways. What a jerk. Anyway. That's what they all did. Well, that was <laughs> But anyway, what was I saying? See, scatterbrain. Squirrel. Speaking of squirrels, you know when you're driving, all the turkeys on the highway? Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. I just got off track. But anyway, learning who you are and growing within yourself and learning about yourself causes you, it really does, it, it, and I can't even explain. But you become more patient to what you deserve in life. And you're okay with Mm -hmm. waiting. You're more honest. Mm -hmm. You develop a sense of, like, complete understanding. Where, you know, you figure out that... I don't know. That they can like me. They can not like me. They can think I'm wrong, they can think I'm right, it doesn't really matter, the only thing that matters is your opinions, and Mm -hmm. what's in your head, and what you think about, and what you believe. See, that I'm still learning, I'm I'm not as caring about what others think about me, and that's been a part of my personal growth, Mm -hmm. and I think I'm at the end of that personal growth piece of that, Mm -hmm. with me always caring for people, because once I realized that, when you just do you, and be happy, and do you for you, you become so much happier and so much freer. It's the best feeling in the mm-hmm. world. People are always going to be there to hate. People are always going to exactly. be there to judge. And the people that matter the most are the ones that are there no matter what. Exactly. The and ones that accept you for who you are. Exactly. And, and like I said, I left an entire life. Mm-hmm. I'm living an entirely different life than I did a year and a half ago. So am I. Like mentally, physically, every Ali ever... <laughs> That's Vandela language. Mm-hmm. I just said I have Doriitis. Yeah. It's great. Mental. Okay, Dory. Uh, anyway, squirrel. Um, but yeah. just, just eat patience. Um, it's, I, I, it's huge for me. Patience is a virtue. Yes, I hear that all the time. And people tell me, and I get it. And I have patience. No, you don't. Yes, I do. So? I have like 47.5% patience mm-hmm. for certain things. I'm at like that 98% patience. I don't have that. But, okay, so when I'm shopping, online shopping, I do Amazon Prime because I have no patience for it to come. I want it to come then and then and now. That's fine. See, I don't have Amazon Prime. I just say, okay, it'll get here when it gets here. See, I can't live like that. I'll cry. I'll have anxiety all the time. Speaking of Amazon Prime, I gotta order that onesie. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No. Anyway, see, this is us. This is this is why patience. I have no patience. I have patience. This is why you have me around. I have I patience. Teach you patience. You teach me how to be impulsive, and I'm not impulsive. I don't teach all. you how to be impulsive. That's yes, actually you do. I do. How? Like what? Um, I'm very impulsive. I don't know. Just we could be at this store, and you're like, "Oh, do it." I'm like, okay. See, that's a good way to live. And then you're like, "Oh, I need to do that." I'm like, "No." 
<laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Della, just wait. Good things would come your way. It's okay. I've been saying that for how many days now? A long time. It's going to be okay. Life is going to work the way it's supposed to. Patience. Patience. Mm-hmm. What do I tell you to do all the time? Patience. And? Pizza. Breathe. Oh, breathe. Yeah. <laughs> I said pizza. <laughs> pizza. Okay. okay. No, but seriously, that's what it is. Mindfulness is all about taking two seconds to take a deep breath, to think about what you're doing, think about what's going on, and accept that whether you make that impulsive decision or not, it could change it, it could not change it, nothing could happen, and learn to be patient and take the time to develop what you need in order to get to that point. Yeah. It is true. It's, it is... It is definitely true, and if you just change that, some people are stubborn, are too stubborn to change mm-hmm. that, unfortunately. And and those, if you think about, if you take ex- people that you know that are like that, they're miserable. Yeah. Like being organized, being mindful of your thoughts and feelings, and and having control of all of that, and being patient is it, it's so freeing. Like you're so free. I know it's the best thing ever. It's also the fact that like. When you're mindful, you can accept the feelings and then mm-hmm. release them. Yeah, you're not building, it's not building inside you. Exactly. Whereas, like, if you don't have the patience and you don't have the the growth mindset where you are trying to always better yourself every day and you're you're not mindful of the things that you could do better, that you're doing great, that are important, then you don't have that ad- ability to release the negatives mm-hmm. and that's important mental for your mental health that's very very important mm-hmm. so it's like it comes it comes a long way and that's you know going back to what we want to do with the cafe we we want to be able to have like that an outlet for people like that's why i want to do the dance and have mm-hmm. people have the outlet to, to be themselves and to better themselves and then we, we were jokingly having like um what was it? Paula's Corner? Yeah, Paula's, Paula's Corner. Paula's Corner, which... Paula, she's amazing. She would literally sit with you, and she has amazing advice. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Paula, if you're listening, we love you. Um, but just having... Even just having... When you just want to blabber and just get it out. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I talk to myself. Or you just call me and yeah, yeah, continue but, to talk. But even though... Just, just letting it out, because keeping mm-hmm. all those feelings in is just not healthy. I mean... Personal growth and the mindfulness is more than just, you know, finding a way to release it. It's, you know, sharing things with people. Like, I release different feelings and things by writing them out. I'm learning that. Mm Mm-hmm. It's weird, but I'm learning. But that's my way of... I, I can organize what I feel and how I'm feeling and everything that's going on and I can organize it on a piece of paper and it's a visual Mm -hmm. I can see it it's not just in my head well that's what I that's what I've been recently doing with my with my prayer book Mm -hmm. you know I I bought that someone a a really good friend said that you should you should try this Mm -hmm. and then it does help and it's you know and and I'm but that's another thing too allowing your mind to be open to things like that mm-hmm. I, you know me I'm not really good with words I'm not a writer I'm impulsive I, I, I think it say it boom and I kind of either regret it or kind of go with the flow and try to fix it yeah and I've been learning to just think take a deep breath and then now writing it has been helping because I, I in my prayer journal it'll say things I want to work on for the week mm-hmm. please give me strength to Please give me strength to have more patience is actually what I put this week, which is great that we're talking about this because I put that. I put to have uh-huh. to continue to have more patience. Or and then I also put to guide me to have more everything's all about patience. Because it uh-huh. it I know it's gonna better my life and especially being a mom of two boys, I'm you gonna need, need to pac- have patience with them. Yeah, well I, I have patience. They don't have patience with me, that's a different story. That's the thing is they're never gonna learn patience unless you show them patience. Mm-hmm. And I do. I tell them, okay, why are you upset? Take a deep breath. Chill. Let's chat it out. What's happening? And it gives them that moment. And mm-hmm. you have to learn it. You have to learn it now. 
at a young age. I did it with Jacoby the other day. I said, Jacoby, go stand on the porch and just breathe. Take a breathe, breathe yeah. Go stand out there. I, I don't care. Play with the hand sanitizer in your backpack. Just <laughs> go and take a breath and be out there and, yeah, and be and, in your own space. Mm-hmm. And then come back in and we'll talk. And it works. Mm-hmm. It really does. He came back in and still wasn't in the best place, so I told him to go lay in his bed. You just you need time to yourself. You need time to breathe. And pizza. You always want pizza. I do want pizza. You, we can make more pizza if you'd like. Nah, I can't do pizza right now. So wait. <laughs> it's great, guys. You hear our conversations and our dinner plans. <laughs> wait, it's not dinner. It's like midnight. No, it's not. It's only 11.30. Only? Yeah. Ooh, it's great at me. Um, it just, it's great. I can't wait to hear all these podcasts one day. I don't know. But definitely find a way to be open and think about things other than the negatives. You have mm-hmm. to... Mindfulness is about the positive, the negative, the neutral. Mm-hmm. Anything that's going on around you, anything that's going on within you. Yeah, and just take it one day at a time. For me, you know, just really focusing on just... Okay, what do, what do I want to do today? This week, you, that's mm-hmm. what you're you're helping me with too. Is like, because I think about a lot of different types of things that aren't even occurring yet. Exactly. I think that far ahead, and you're like, okay, what can you do today? What can you control today? I said it today to you. I did. You did. Yeah, I because you were like, I have so much in my head. I have so much to focus on. So much of this. So much of that. I was like, okay, so tell me positive things that happened today. Let's start oh, there. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's my birthday. I got all these birthday love. It's great. This and that and this and that. And then I was, fo- I was, I said, so focus on one thing at a time. So now that we got all the positives out, you can't focus at work. Okay, so pick one thing. You want to focus on emails? You want to focus on phone calls? What do you want to do? Mm-hmm. And, and just start with that. Because mm-hmm. my brain is scattered. If you have a scattered brain, too... Hit me up. We can grab coffee and have scatterbrain conversations. <laughs> Imagine a whole bunch of people with my personality. I've been around it. Thanks. I'm not going back. Where? My job down in Philly. What? They were all scatterbrained. I'll tell you about it. Scatterbrain people are not that bad, Sammy. Ooh. When you have 40 of them in the same room, yeah, it gets bad. Yeah, I'll probably get annoyed. Um... But no, just, you just have to come to the realization of how important it is to be patient and to take a breath and to take time to chill out. <laughs> yeah. We're having and Della's eyes. being very impatient right now. <laughs> no, I'm being patient. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm being I patient. I can see it in your eyes. I am patient. I'm patiently waiting. <laughs> oh For God. what? I don't know. But. But, you know, just think about, think about your current situation. What can you, think about the positive things that you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And go from there. Start from there. Think about One thing at a time. Yeah, one one thing at a time. One goal at a time. If you're a visual person, write it down. If you're you're a religious person, put put it in your prayer book. And each time it's answered put it in the back and 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 check off when those prayers are answered Mm -hmm. if you're a person that just wants to go ahead and wing it and do it just pick one at a time i don't know what to tell you so the reason why they say to write things down is because not only is it a visual but it also ingrains it in your memory Mm -hmm. because the more you write things down and the more you say things the more you the more likely you are to accomplish them Mm -hmm. like i will eat pizza You ate pizza two hours ago. I love pizza. But, like, if you were to say, okay, my goal is for the next 21 days, I'm going to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I know you're not going to do it, but it's an example. Relax. Every day waking up at 5 a.m. for the next 21 days. You take it one day at a time. So maybe one day you wake up at 4.50. One day you wake up at 5 o'clock exactly. 
one day you're a few minutes late, but it's still close enough to five that mm-hmm. you're still gonna count it. Yeah. You're taking it one day at a time. Very you're being true. patient. You're training your body and you're teaching yourself how to be at that spot. You just have to take the time mm-hmm. and set out that one day at a time. And not rush into things. Anything. Whether if it's a personal goal, whether if it's a, a personal relationship. Yeah, or anything. Just don't rush. <laughs> don't rush into it. Because rushing into things, it's not... It doesn't work. Clearly, I've rushed things before in my life, and that didn't work out. So now I'm learning, okay, it didn't work it out that way, that time. Mm-hmm. So this time, I'm going to learn about the situation a little bit more and... and Anal- not analyze it. You don't have to analyze anything. Just, just be patient one day at a time. Mm-hmm. It's all going to be let okay. Let things happen the way they're supposed exactly. to happen. Exactly. Just let things happen. Be patient. Keep eating pizza. Do you guys know that I'm hungry? She's not hungry. I am hungry. She's not hungry. I can't eat. Yes, you can. I'm going to. Throw the chocolate in the fridge. Nah. We're going to have... Par- par- we're going to have... Pizza at the cafe, breakfast pizza. Okay. Yep. Sure. Made by personally me. If you want breakfast pizza at 10 o'clock in the morning, I got you. <laughs> She's not in the middle of a dance class, that is. Oh, that's true. But I think people are, are going to want to um, do classes early. I'm excited. My first class, I'm going up in there with a freaking unicorn onesie. Ooh, we should do that. We should have onesie dance class days. How fun. Mm-hmm. You're going to be dead by the end of it because you're going to be sweating so That's hard. That's the point. You're going to have a sauna. It's called Sauna Onesie Dance Off. Okay. So ready for you guys. I can't even deal. I'm going to start practicing. <laughs> but this is where patience comes in because... I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm going to have to deal mm-hmm. with it. And you're going to want to do it tomorrow, but you can't. <laughs> okay, I'm not that impatient. Okay, yes I am. <laughs> I'm trying. Leave me alone. I know you're trying, and you're doing a great job. Every day, you're getting closer and closer to that goal. Of what? Patience. Patience. I'm getting that tattooed on my forehead. You're getting a lot of things tattooed on your forehead. Yep, and I, luckily I have a big forehead, so there's a lot of things. <laughs> oh, I can't on myself. I think this is where we have to call it. But thanks again, guys, for being patient <laughs> with us and... And um, just listening and taking the time to, yeah, see what we're saying. And we really appreciate it. We're we're still pushing through. We're still we're still gonna make this happen. You know, it takes one day at a time. It's I don't care mm-hmm. how long it takes. We're going to make this happen. So just continuing following our journey. We are we're gonna make it together. All the love and support. Again, all our social media, Facebook, Instagram is motivated by kindness. Please. Share, like. I know we're going to set up a time where we're going to go live on our Motivated by Kindness Facebook page soon to kind of um, just give a shout out to people there. And There's some new things that we want to Yeah, new things we want to share. People. Yeah, and, um, you know, so we're just continuing every day with new ideas, new new ways, new things to the menu. It's just it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience, mm-hmm. and we, we're going to get there. So we do appreciate all the love and support. Um, we've had for over nine weeks now Mm -hmm. and if you guys need any more tips or you need help learning patience or personal development or personal growth or anything anything we've talked about i mean we we were not professionals but we talked from experience we talked been through a lot yeah and and i know that i know down the line we were going to have podcasts where we explain more in detail of of things so what we've been through who we are why we are who yeah. we are. We're pretty raw and we're pretty authentic. We say it as it is. As so. you guys know, I was talking about pizza and I don't even know we're doing a podcast. I was talking about but Anyway, guys, we appreciate it. Thanks for the love and support. We will be back next week. Um, if you have a suggestion for a topic, let us know. Um, we'd be happy to mm-hmm. patiently wait for those. Mm-hmm. Other than that, have a great weekend and great week next week and we will talk soon bye